We call five. Oh, yeah, I gave everybody set up. It's close to 50. Yeah. Yeah. 40, 9, 10, 10, 11. We missing 11, though. We missing 11. We got 12. Gang, 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 gang. Well, we've had a tremendous season, but we still have a lot of work in front of us, right? We have a tremendous opportunity. That's really what uh, the last 17, 18 weeks has been about, is creating this opportunity that we have in the playoffs. I feel like playoffs just tell you how good of a team you are, you know, how, how special of a group you got. Go Trees! Listen, listen. Every level that you go up in the playoffs, you get a different intensity level. And it's uh, it's hard to explain. More on the line, uh, you know. It's not like the regular season where you lose and can regroup. Just win or go home. Mano y mano, which team is going to be better on this one day to earn a seat at the table next week to try and compete for that ultimate goal of the Lombardi? It's just different, like an extra motivation, extra boost, you know, for everyone. Here we go, guys. They pray for the day that I lose it. God gave me the power to use it. it. May wait in a while, but I'm on time. To see that guys can step up from every position and go out there and, and win football games, that's going to be what we need. Take no days off, can't retire. No, you wait in a while, but I'm on time. That's the playoffs. You can make one play, and you never know if it's the first play or the last play, and it changes the game. And he's scrambling. No, you wait in a while. games have something very finite about them. There's going to be an ending that's going to crush somebody and make somebody a hero forever. We're finally here. We are here in the playoffs. It is time. You got a kid in Brock Purdy. Mr. Irrelevant, my ass. He is one of the most relevant quarterbacks in this tournament. Touchdown! The Jacksonville Jaguars can win a playoff game and win a playoff game at home in front of the Duval Crazies. It's Trevor Lawrence's time. What a great opportunity for the Jaguars. Then it's time for Miami and Are Buffalo. Looking deep down the sideline. He's got digs. Now we're cooking with gas. Giants, Daniel Jones this, Daniel Jones that. One win, touchdown Giants. Yeah. Balls forgiven. That's how crazy the playoffs are. Go and win this game. Can the Bengals tell everybody, shut up. The AFC title defense is on the line. That's what's at stake. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers, with Tom Brady in what could be his final game. That's on the line. Wild card weekend. Wild card weekend is here. You got this. Well, let's, let's, go. Go, let's go handle business. I'm ready. Question is, are you? Touchdown! Brock Purdy is now 6-0.
This is going to be a long flight home, a long off season, and absolutely inexplicable. There are no words to describe what we witnessed here tonight. So we have Chiefs and Jags Saturday, 3.30. Andy versus uh, Dougie P mm -hmm. and quarterback hair versus quarterback hair. Oh, Trevor I mean, Lawrence more, has got the great hair. What more could you want? Yeah. I'll tell you what's crazy is uh, when I was a kid in junior high school, seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, my dad would go in early in the morning, and, and at that time we had shop classes uh, uh, at the junior high school. and. And so I'd go in, our woodshop teacher would get in real early in the morning and my dad would drop me off at the, at the junior high school and I'd go in with a shop teacher and do woodworking. And I did that for, for three years. I kind of got used to getting up early. And then by the time I got to high school, I did the same thing and got up early and I kept it going. So it was just a little bit before 4 a.m. and we're heading to work. This is normally a, a typical, typical in-season day. Normally you're at the office till 11-ish, somewhere in there, sometimes later. You know, if you're there too long, then you start getting past midnight and into the one o'clock area, then you have to buy it on this back end here in the morning. It might take another 15, 20 minutes to, of sleep, you know, just to, so you have enough rest to stay sharp. I had a mother that was a doctor back when women weren't doctors. I had a father whose parents were immigrants that came to America, you know, and had to work their butt off. I mean, those are all great foundation builders, I think. Greatness is normally measured by how you do in whatever field you're in. Inevitably, you're, you're conquering something uh, that's been laid before you or in front of you, and you're dominating that to the best, you know, to the best of your ability. That includes being a great person. If you're a great person, you conquered the evil side of it. You're excelling at treating people the right way. And during the season, you've got to go through a process. So there's steps to that. And some of them you really enjoy, and some of them you kind of don't. Think about this. Andy Reid's worst season is 9-7. and seven. That was 2014. That was the only year he didn't make the playoffs. Four straight AFC title games at Arrowhead Stadium, two Super Bowls in that span, including a Super Bowl victory. He's fifth all-time in wins, third all-time in postseason wins, and he's the perfect guy at the perfect job in Kansas City. And now in the last four years, they just keep winning. We always tell the players that we're gonna give them our best and just expect that in return. In my case, giving them my best means I've gotta get in here and get, get organized so that when we produce the day to them that you know, it makes sense and there's not a lot of glitches. When I was coaching with the Giants for 14 years, Andy was in Philly. I heard a friend one day tell me by the name of Leslie Frazier. He told me probably 20 years ago, he said, Dave, if you ever get a chance to coach for Andy Reid, make sure you sprint towards him. Okay. He's super highly competitive and loves people. Can I just step on your toe? Oh, it's all good, coach. I'm in your way. No, you gotta watch, I got quick feet. I'm in your way. One of the most experienced guys, you know, in terms of longevity in this league uh, that we've been around, and yet he attacks it every day like it's his first year in coaching. All right, here we go. One on ones here, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. We're challenging each other right on the 25. Let's get after 38 today, man. Holy Toledo. He's the same person that he was as a college coach. He's the same person that he was as a position coach. He's the exact same person that I played for as a player in 1999 with the Philadelphia Eagles. It's tight. I mean, it was one of those, the knee goes down and goes in, so it's really tight. Find out if you're any good. What's that? Find out if you're any good at this. <laughs> He's just a great 
person that I wish everybody could have an opportunity to just sit down and talk and enjoy a conversation with. Got to know Coach Reed, you know, certainly from playing against him, but really got to know him uh, better at the Pro Bowl, and back when it was the original Pro Bowl in Hawaii after the season. And after I retired from football, I had a kind of retirement party in Los Angeles, and instead of doing uh, you know, mailed out invites, just sort of did it by text. Just, you know, coaches and players, all kind of different addresses. And uh, I invited people that I knew I wasn't going to see on an everyday basis again that were part of my football journey. And about two days before the party, he called me and he left a voice and said, Peyton, will you call me, please? I want to talk to you uh, personally. And it was really strange because we've been texting back and forth. And, and I called him and he said, I just wanted to make sure this is real. Is this party real? I mean, I feel like you know he's, he's been like you know getting pumped uh, via text. I'm like, no, it's real. I'm like, the party is tomorrow in Los Angeles. Anyway, he was there. That meant a lot to me that he and Tammy came to that, and I think that certainly speaks to the respect uh, that I had for him. That uh, felt like he was an important part of my football journey. I think the Jacksonville Jaguars are playing well at the right time. I, I think they're a formidable opponent. I think they have the quarterback to, to compete with Patrick Mahomes with the way that he was playing toward the end of the season. You know, maybe the fan base is looking ahead to next week. But I think the team is, is just well aware of how dangerous the Jaguars can be. And uh, I, I feel like they're locked in right now. Recognizing who the Jaguars are. They are a team that has only lost one game since playing us in week 10. The Chiefs? They're one Super Bowl championship team with a bunch of playoff wins, but not a dynasty. Do you guys want to be a dynasty, or are you a one Super Bowl team? The playoffs may have started for everyone else a week ago, but the run to solidify this Chiefs team as one of the all-time great dynasties starts right now. Chiefs. Chiefs fans, how bad do you want this? Oh. How do you lose when you get out there? Believe in yourself, believe in your teammates, and let them find a way to get a win. What we here for a fucking reason. This game one, this ain't everything, but it's the start. So let's knock this motherfucker out the wall park and get to the crib. It's time to go crazy. It's time to go crazy. It's time to go crazy. 38 degrees, we'll call it a wintry mix. Uh, right now, a little bit of rain. I don't think there's one person in the building that cares. Everybody's ready for the divisional round. There is no tomorrow. Guys, let's go get a dub. Well, we're a club, we're a team. We play as a team, we win as a team, we fight as a team, man. Us together, I don't see nobody team. Us together, I don't see nobody handling us. Cause what they seen two weeks ago, we the same team, man. We something different right now. Hey! Well, this crowd is amped up for this divisional playoff game. We saw Lawrence holding his hands over his helmet. It's going to be super loud. Third down and three, the Jaguars. Pump fake. Lawrence now being chased. He fires it late, and the pass is going to be broken up and nearly intercepted. Jumping in front of the football was Nick Bolton. And the Chiefs get the Jaguars three and out. There's somebody go up, and there's somebody go up. No Tyreek Hill this year, no change in production. Number one offense in points, number one offense in yards, Kansas City. Starting for their own 17. Mahomes takes it down the line. It's straight option pitch. Pacheco on the edge. The seventh round pick. It. Let's go. There's a blitz. Mahomes on second and three. Jump pass. Finds Kelsey at midfield with the catch and a gain of 14 yards. <laughs> Mahomes side slide. Complete to Juju Smith-Schuster. First down on the 31-yard line. Ball snap near Hash. They'll run a sweep right. Cutting back McKinnon. Three tight ends to the right of Mahomes. They'll roll that way. 
Off reverse action, they find Kelsey inside the five and lunges into the end zone, trots in, touchdown! Kansas City, Mahomes to Kelsey. It's only one, huh? Hey, he's coming up his smack. Now the Chiefs, after that 12-play, 83-yard touchdown drive, and seeing the Jaguars answer, will get their second possession starting at the 25-yard line. Patrick saw the play clock running down, got to this one quick. Hangs on for that very last second to complete it. And now Mahomes is hurt. Mahomes is hurt after a gain of four yards. The Arden Key oh. falls right on him there, yep. Let's see if the Chiefs take a timeout. A little bit of confusion here as they're waiting, and Andy's going to let the play clock run down. He was holding the, the top of his ankle above his shoe on that foot. Chad Henney, guys, is warming up on the sidelines right now. They're going to give an extra breather here to Time Mahomes, out. but it's something Kansas right City. at the top of his They're ankle. First. As the Chiefs took that 30-second timeout, now Mahomes is trying to come back out there on the field. He limps to the line of scrimmage, where he'll have the ball under center. What <laughs> It's going to be the last play of the first quarter, specifically because Patrick Mahomes needs to get attention to that right ankle. Important tape job for Rick Burkholder since uh, fill in the blank, but a lot of eyes on him. Meanwhile, Chad Henney was warming up, still on the field, taking snaps just in case. But Patrick Mahomes back out there with a heavy dose of tape. That right foot or ankle, which is the problem, is in front of his left as he's stationed feet staggered near hash now has the pass out of his hands and on the field are they going to rule this a fumble or an incompletion they're going to say an incompletion and the chiefs are going to bring out a field goal unit and try a 50 yard field goal attempt from harrison butker butker off the left hash from 50 yards that's a good looking kick four minutes into the second quarter chiefs lead 10 to 7. third drive of the game for jacksonville Keeping an eye on Patrick Mahomes. He's not happy. He threw down his jacket. He's going back to the locker room. I think they're going to take an extra look at that foot. He is not pleased about it. Chad Henney warming up. And it is a rugby style punt angling to the far side. And it was going to be dead at the two yard line. If this is going to be Chad Henney, he has got work to do. 37-year-old Chad Henney taking over at quarterback, the former Michigan Wolverine from out of his own end zone, to Travis Kelsey to the seven-yard line. You see what Andy Reid did? Let him throw on first down right out of the end zone. And Pacheco in his running back on first down. They'll run an off-tackle run. Pacheco cuts it back against the flow. And now Kansas City and Chad Henney have third and three at their own 23, leading 10 to seven, seven minutes into the second quarter. First down around the 31-yard line. That's the play that won us the game against the Cleveland Browns when Chad Henney came in the game. I told him anything possible. Anything is possible. Hey, keep working. Keep working. Let's go. Keep working. How much of this now with Mahomes being attended to in the locker room is the offensive line, and you're saying, boys, it's on you. In his second playoff game in his 15th year in the NFL, hands it off, and Pacheco gets hit. Now he gets off the hit, 40, 35, Pacheco at the 25, sprinting all the way down to the Jacksonville three-yard line. Isaiah Pacheco, grab a bucket of guts. It's a 40-yard run by the rookie. And Chad Henney will be in the shotgun here. With second down and goal to go at the one. McKinnon coming on sprint action. Now they throw it near side. Kelsey's got it. Touchdown! Kansas City sprinting inside the near front pylon. And Chad Henney leads a 98-yard Chiefs touchdown drive. A veteran who knew what to do on the field on a 98-yard drive. No question about it. He orchestrated that whole thing. He deserves a ton of credit. That's how you drive. That's how you can drive right there. That's how you drive right there, baby. They anything is possible, baby. That's a Michigan man. One thing they told us not to sleep on is Michigan man growing up. Anything is possible.
17 to 10 Kansas City in this AFC divisional playoff round game. Patrick Mahomes injured near the end of the first quarter. We gotta be there for him. We gotta be there for him. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's why we're here, dog. Mm -hmm. That's it, okay. Let's take off. Yes, sir. We got you, 15. We got you, brother. We got you. Patrick Mahomes came out to warm up. He was putting pressure. He was under center. He was taking shotgun snaps. He was trying to get throws, and it looked like he was able to push off on his right foot, Dane, and much better than we saw when he was trying to go. Be great, dog. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. And the Chiefs will have Patrick Mahomes in at quarterback. You can hear the reaction of the crowd, and they're chanting MVP, MVP. I said the most eventful 12 minutes of the season might have just happened at halftime. Part of the package here now is Jerick McKinnon in there to protect Patrick Mahomes. Second and 10, Chiefs. Got him! Got him, boy! 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 Mahomes trying to gut it out here. Here comes a blitz to his right. Mahomes goes over the middle, overthrowing Kelsey and incomplete. So the Chiefs forced to punt for the first time today. Tommy Townsend, the AFC Pro Bowl punter, number one in net punting. 55-yard punt, eight yards on the return, 47 net at a 5-4-3 hang time. No, I flipped him. I flipped him. No, I flipped him. Oh, for real? Yeah. I literally got low and I flipped him. You'll see. <laughs> Third and shot. Lamar's got to have quick and incomplete. It was behind Kirk. Team, the Chiefs pressure and things were happening fast. And Jacksonville will kick it away. Third and one for the Chiefs. Now the Chiefs will run that tight end sneak. I don't think they got the first down. Go, go, go! It's fourth down. Mm -mm -mm. What a turn of events here. The Chiefs two drives here with Mahomes at quarterback in the third quarter have both resulted in punts. Third down. Chiefs with a middle rush and Lawrence comes near side and low and incomplete. A diving attempt made by Christian Kirk. open to the 34-yard line. Big field goal off the right hash. Butker from 50 yards. And he has got it! His second 50-yard field goal of this game. And the Kansas City Chiefs lead 20-10. to Jags came from 27 down to beat the Chargers last weekend. First and goal. Etienne bouncing the outside. Cuts it up! And in for the touchdown! Travis Etienne has made this a four-point game. Hey, right, what more would you want? It's on us. It's on us. What more do we want? We got to win it, man. We have to win it. And we're going to win it. We have to win it, and we're going to win it. Have the faith. Here we go. This is what's going to happen here, guys. No more points. Everybody do that job. No more points. Here we go. There are so many decisions that are going to have to be made by Andy Reid here. He has to honestly watch his quarterback and say, does Patrick Mahomes give me the best chance to win this game? And I just can't imagine him taking him out of the game, but you know. A tough call. That's his job. Mahomes in the shotgun to get him with that bad ankle. He'll come near side Kelsey with the catch this time and darts to his left and he's got a first down. This former quarterback knew the pressure was coming from the other side of the field. When it's all on the line, Patrick Mahomes is going to find Kelsey, that he is just going to find it. Here comes a middle blitz. Mahomes trying to get back to throw it and finds Kelsey over the middle at the left hash between hash and numbers and Kelsey, a big time catch and rolls for 15 yards. Second down on a yard for the Chiefs at the Jaguar 40-yard line. Snap goes back to him. The pump and the throw to Juju. Caught it. Leaping catch by Juju Smith-Schuster. Tony's in the backfield. They're going to run it on a sprint option. It's back to Canaries. Tony on the edge. Big hit in the Tony keeps going. He's going to be out of bounds before the goal line. Hey! That's what you do! What a physical run by Tony to set up first and goal for Kansas City. 
Mahomes now steps up in the pocket, throws late, wide open, back in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Marquez Valdez scantling on a six-yard touchdown. When you're a great one, you throw jump passes off your right foot in the first half, then you get hurt, and you come back and you throw a jump pass off your left foot in the second half. Just make it up out there, Patrick. Just make it up. And are they helping Mahomes up here? He is limping off the field. He's going to trot off. But Mahomes paid the price, stayed in the pocket, and a jump throw on that bad right angle. Hey, Rachel. Rachel. Let's go. Hold on, Rachel. Rachel, we're not done. We're not done. We're not done. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, bro. All we need is a stop. All we need is a stop. I need one stop. Chiefs defense trying to dig in here. Now good field position for the Jags down 10. Pass to the right side. And the ball's out. The ball's out. The Chiefs think they've got the football at the three. If they rule this a catch, I did not see the beanbag go down. Kansas City's got the football. They recover the ball at their own three-yard line. This will be reviewed by New York and Agnew have full control of the football to make a football move. There's one, two, the third, and then the ball comes out. It's not over if you've watched enough Jacksonville football <laughs> this year. You know that. But this almost has to be a stop here by Jacksonville. Boy, a huge third down and one here for the Chiefs at their own 12-yard line. They're going to give it off. Handoff to Pacheco. Hit in the backfield. Trying to drive forward. Lost a half yard. The punting unit is on the field and they will punt it. The Chiefs are a three and out after the fumble recovery inside their own five. 418 to go in the game. Chiefs lead 27-17. Steve Spagnolo has his guys fired up and ready. They need a get off the field play right here. Let's go! A lot of pressure being put on this defense right now. I'd like to see them step up. Just have to do this now without Snead. It means Joshua Williams and Jalen Watson are on the field. He's playing a lot of rookies down the second. Here comes a blitz, and a right side throw is going to be intercepted. A one-handed grab. Jalen Watson with a one-handed interception on an attempted wheel route. Play it. Jalen Watson, his biggest play since the 99-yard pick six against the Chargers in week two. And he gets it at his own 30. 348 to go in the game. It is the scheming of Steve Spagnolo that got the free runner and got the interception for Jalen Watson. So it is the rookie. He's been playing well. He had the monster play in week two against the Chargers. Comes up huge there. Good job. Take that. Hey, let me say, that's why I love the ball. I ain't even a couple of minutes out because we already know. I ain't surprised. Hey, he only needs one hand. Hey, baby. Hey, we're together. We learn, we grow, we are together. We are a brotherhood. Everybody follow me on that? All right? Enjoy this. Understand, we got to go back there, out there, and maybe stop one more time. All right? Let's go. Here we go. DB's on three. One, two, three. DB's. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Watch. Go. And the reality beginning to set in on that Jacksonville sideline. Lawrence on the near hash. Here comes pressure. He unloads it to the sideline, and it's caught at the 30. By Christian Kirk pinned against the sideline, and here comes the field goal kicker. You're dead on at 30 seconds to go in the game. Riley Patterson will try a field goal here. It's going to be a 48 yard attempt. 30 seconds to go in the game. Placement is down. Chiefs try to jump over the stack of blockers, but it's good. And now the Jaguars are within seven, and the Chiefs must recover an onside kick. And the Jaguars come up with the recovery. Will roll up, and the Chiefs look like they cover it up. Kadarius Tony's got it, and the Chiefs are going to win. And Let's go! Mahomes will go 5 0 in the divisional playoff round. AFC Championship. AFC Championship. Well, here come 
seven days of how's your ankle, Patrick? How's your ankle, Patrick? Hell of a year, man. We're going to bring those boys back. We're good. I'll be good. Appreciate you, man. One more time, it's Kansas City playing for the AFC Championship. You know how hard it is to win postseason games in this league. And the Chiefs just got the ninth of the Patrick Mahomes era with this 27-20 divisional playoff victory over the Jaguars. Yes, sir. 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 Great job. Yes, sir. Chad Henney, great job. Yeah. 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 There's nothing better. Let me just tell you, you guys know this, the ones that have been around, there's nothing better than having two tough quarterbacks. One is great, and then two is even greater, man. Yeah. That's a great thing. Great thing. Defense, heck of a job, baby. Way to shut it down, man. Way to shut it down. Big old line. Nice job. Receivers. Receivers, huh? Receivers. Good. All right, let's get one chief here, baby. How about those Chiefs? Hey! Hey, great team win today. Everybody. Coach said it. Everybody had a part in this. Get off your feet these next few days. Come ready to go next week. Chiefs on three. One, two, three. Chiefs. The AFC playoffs with Kansas City in the fifth consecutive year in the AFC Championship game. We'll take on Cincinnati in KC if the Bengals win here. This is a monster game. We knew all year long. Cincinnati, Buffalo, Kansas City are going to be there toward the end. And here we are, only three teams standing, and it's these three, and these quarterbacks are probably one of the biggest reasons why. Of course, this is uh, something new for this franchise, having postseason wins in consecutive seasons. And today they're trying to advance to the championship game for the second straight year. Short drop by Burrow. The pressure comes from the left. He throws over the middle. Caught at the nine. Chase straight ahead nice. into the end zone. Nice. Touchdown. To the end zone. Open. Wide open. Hurst hauls it in for another Cincinnati touchdown. Deep drop. Here comes the rush. Gets hit. It's been a flawless performance. This is surprising to me. Not that the Bengals won the football game, but the fashion. We'll see y'all in Burrowhead. Yeah, baby. Let that sink in your mind. We'll see y'all in Burrowhead. I can't wait for Sunday. I don't think the Chiefs like the Bengals a whole lot. Some games just mean more. Some games just mean more. And we know the Bengals don't like the Chiefs. Somebody's got to be the villain. And Cincinnati does not mind playing the villain. Joe Burrow seems to like being the villain. He seems to take great pride in coming and ruining your party. He came and ruined it last year. I hope this becomes the rivalry that I hoped the Bills Chiefs would become because they are the absolutely perfect heel. Cincinnati feels like they're the top dog in the AFC. You want to know when you show you're the top dogs in the AFC? In the game that decides who represents the AFC in the Super Bowl. If you think you're the top dog and the Chiefs think they're the top dog, we got 60 minutes to find that out coming up on Sunday night.